What's up guys, Matt from Nerdy Review here. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on using lofted extrusions in Fusion 360. For this tutorial, I'm going to do an example and I'm going to model a square to circular air duct adapter using lofted extrusions. This is a pretty good example to show you guys the capabilities uh, of lofts. And I'm going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing I am going to do is create a circle. I'm going to make it 8 inches. And then I'm going to create an offset plane. Let's make it 6 inches away. And then I'm going to create a center rectangle on the offset plane. And I'm going to make this a 12 inch by 12 inch square. Okay, so now I'm going to go to create and I'm going to choose loft. And I'm going to select the two profiles. So again, the first thing that I will do is choose the square, choose the circle, and then I'm going to press OK. I'm going to create another offset plane. And I'm going to create another circle. And I'm going to loft these together, even though I could have just extruded a simple cylinder. Just continuing to use lofts to show you how they work. And then I'm going to use the shell command. I'm going to make it two millimeters. I'm going to add a little lip to the outside of this. Use the offset command. And there you go. We have a simple air duct adapter for a circular duct to a square duct. So that's how you use lofted extrusions. Uh, if you guys have any questions, you feel free to drop a comment or shoot us a message. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe. We'll have more tutorials coming out all the time. Thank you very much.